welcome to Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's scripture reading is Acts chapter 22, verses 14 through 16. God's word says this, and He said, the God of our fathers appointed you to know His will, to see the righteous one and to hear a voice from His mouth. For you will be a witness for Him and to everyone of what you have seen and heard. And now, why do you wait? Rise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on His name. This passage picks back up as Paul is presenting to the Jews as he is arrested and he has been begging for an opportunity to speak. And now that he's been given the opportunity, Paul opens his mouth and shares his testimony. He shares the story of how the righteous one, Jesus Christ, met him and changed everything. That he tells the story of how God appointed it for him to know his will and that he met Jesus, that he changed everything for what purpose? Verse 15, it says, for you will be a witness for him to everyone of what you have seen and heard. What's ironic is that as Paul is recounting this story, that he is in fact fulfilling what Jesus said about him, that he is standing before an audience, that he is witnessing to everyone of what he has seen and what he has heard about Jesus. And so friends, I just pray for us today that we too would be like Paul, that we would witness to everyone of what you've seen and heard, that we've seen the goodness of God, and so we would witness to it, that we've heard and experienced the voice of God, and so that we would testify about it, that we are meant to tell of Jesus to our family, to our friends, to strangers, because it's the best news in the world. Let's pray now that we would be these good witnesses. Our Father, we thank you for your word. I pray that by the power of your spirit, Acts chapter 22, 14 through 16, would change us into the likeness of Christ. Lord, I pray today that our church family, God, would witness to what we've experienced. God, that we've known your love, we've heard your voice, we've experienced your grace. And so, Father, now may we open our mouths and proclaim it to a world that's dying for it. Father, grant us the courage to do this now. We pray this in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.